The second phase where you're going to lose people throughout your process is after the at bat, but it's going to be before the first appointment is actually set. Now, this is actually my favorite phase of the sales process. And uh, <laughs> you'll never really know how many people actually wanted to sit down with you or work with you if you don't stay in front of them long enough to find out. Oftentimes, it's a timing issue. Uh, you see, like when you hop on Amazon, you put a TV in your cart. If you don't buy it, you're going to get littered with ads about TVs. Why? It's because Amazon knows that you're interested, you want it, just the timing wasn't right to buy it. That's their mindset. That's how they're choosing to look at it. So their mindset is, hey, let's stay in front of them. So when the timing is right, you know, maybe it's a check in the mail that hits, maybe it's payday, maybe it's a birthday gift, whatever it is, they want to stay in front of you so that when it comes time to buy, you buy from them. Now, moving into this, the number one mistake to avoid after the at bat, but before the first appointment is actually set, is not having a plan to stay in front of that prospect long term. If you're if you're viewing it short sightedly, just you know, again, if it's a workshop, if all you're thinking is, you know, how can we stay in front of them for a week, or maybe it's during the workshop or a couple of days after, you're not going to have a ton of success with this, right? Have a long term plan to stay in front of them because you might have a prospect who. You know, they heard your radio show six years ago, but they haven't set an appointment because they just don't need to yet. You know, maybe they can't retire yet. Maybe they can't access some of their accounts. Whatever it is, they just can't. But if you take your foot off the gas and you don't stay in front of them, they're going to go somewhere else. Someone that is in front of them because their job isn't to remember you. Their job is to go where they feel like they should. And your job is to stay in front of them so they choose you. So um, another really good topic around this also is when you know what someone's hot button is, and it might not be a super hot button, but if, uh, you know, perhaps you're doing digital marketing and your workshop is all around taxes, if you know that that person set, or excuse me, they registered to attend your workshop specifically around taxes, it's probably safe to assume taxes are something that's important to them. Stay in that vein. Right. Don't don't throw them in this generic pool of uh, like email nurturing or whatever it is. Don't send them stuff about Social Security. Don't send them a ton of stuff about you know life insurance or don't send like stick with taxes, right? For for a reasonable amount of time, you know I would recommend probably going three to six months of just staying in front of them with tax related stuff. But you know what's important to them, just stick with it. 